If you're an aspiring filmmaker or even an accomplished filmmaker, it would do you good to check out Shane Stanley's book, What You Don't Learn in Film School, A Complete Guide to Independent Filmmaking. This guide walks you step-by-step step from fundraising to casting to shooting to post-production and distribution. I found out about this book through filmmaker Alex Ferrari's Indie Film Hustle podcast. One of the episodes of the podcast gives you the first three chapters of what you don't learn in film school, and that prompted me to buy the Audible book. If you haven't checked out Indie Film Hustle, I recommend doing so immediately. There are a treasure trove of resources for us indie filmmakers, from interviews with people like Shane Stanley to advice on script writing and every aspect of making movies. Shane Stanley is a producer who has made dozens of films at different budget levels, from micro-budget, under $100,000, to the multi-million dollar range, and many of his films have received wide distribution. His credits include Gridiron Gang, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. In What You Don't Learn in Film School, Stanley relates that although he graduated from film school, he primarily learned the technical aspects of filmmaking, but not much on how to break into the business, which unfortunately is the case with many film schools. And because technology has caused the film business to morph and change seemingly every few months, even if film schools did teach the business side of filmmaking, those courses would be almost instantly obsolete. Stanley emphasizes that the key elements that make up a decent independent film, or any kind of film for that matter, are quality acting, visuals, and sound. To ensure you're able to get the best talent during the casting process, treat actors with respect, Stanley says. After all, these are the people who are going to literally embody the characters. Stanley says he even took acting classes so that he could learn what actors go through. But he also gives practical advice, like not overpaying an actor because you think their name will secure distribution or put butts in seats. Rather than stretching your budget to give a certain actor a fat paycheck, Stanley recommends that that money would be better put on screen. He also recommends researching the genre of your film and consulting sales agents about which actors to cast in order to help get funding, distribution, and enthusiastic audiences. And you don't necessarily have to go out of your way to cast mainstream stars. A well-known television actor who was looking for a meaty role might very well be suited to play the lead. Stanley also advises not to resort to stunt casting in which you get a famous actor to do a cameo in one scene because that gimmick will no longer sell a movie. When shooting, according to the book, it's important to be organized and efficient and have all of your business matters in order. One of those very important business matters is insurance, especially when you're shooting run and gun style with a low budget film Accidents can happen, and you don't want to be liable for tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars of damaged property or, heaven forbid, personal injuries. When it comes to post-production, the book recommends finding an experienced editor who can really shape the movie. However, if you plan to do the editing yourself, make sure you have test screenings with objective people who can give you genuine feedback about how the movie plays. Do they laugh in the right places? cry in the right places, and relate to the characters and situations. In terms of distribution, what you don't learn in film school recommends being selective about which film festivals to enter. Not all film festivals will help your movie get traction, let alone a legitimate distribution deal. And if you're lucky enough to be offered a distribution deal, have a lawyer who knows what they're doing to look over any contract before you sign it. This review barely skims the surface of the volumes of information that this comprehensive book contains. Shane Stanley's What You Don't Learn in Film School is a must read and a must have for any filmmaker who wants to succeed in show business. If you like this video, please leave a comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel.